Hi, Katie here, and this is your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about the world's largest jet engine and NASA's newest round of funding for innovative space technologies. Just last month, General Electric fired up the world's largest jet engine for the first time. The GE9X engine, designed for the next-gen 777X jet, has a front fan with an 11-foot diameter, a world record. Some of the engine's parts were built through 3D printing. 3D printing is preferred for parts that come in unique shapes and otherwise not possible with traditional manufacturing methods. Customizing internal shapes of the design is critical for such a large engine. A GE Aviation spokesperson notes that the tunnels and caves are a closely guarded secret. They determine how the fuel moves through the nozzle and sprays inside a combustion chamber. Fuel nozzles and several other parts are 3D printed from ceramic matrix composites that can withstand temperatures of 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat generated inside the engine cuts down on fuel burn and emissions, making the engine run more efficiently. Using 16 carbon fiber fan blades to draw air into a high pressure compressor, the engine generates 100,000 pounds of thrust with 27 to 1 pressure ratio. This is the highest pressure ratio available in a commercial engine. The GE9X, still in testing, is expected to be in use by the end of the decade. And NASA is investing in microorganisms that could turn dirt from Mars into usable electronics. Earlier this month, NASA selected 13 space technologies for Phase 1 funding under the NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts Program. Among these technologies, a two-dimensional spacecraft and microorganisms that can recycle Mars dirt into working electronics. The NIAC program aims to encourage and invest in groundbreaking research that could transform how NASA does space exploration. Winning the first round of grants means researchers on all 13 projects get $100,000 and nine months to prove their concept's feasibility. Pass that test and they can apply for an additional $500,000 in two more years to develop the concept. The 2D spacecraft project set its sights on cleanup by wrapping itself around space debris and pulling it from orbit. The microorganisms aim to use Martian resources to recycle and print electronics. They are reprogrammable so they can be repurposed for other applications. These are just two of the 13 exciting new concepts to win Phase 1 funding. Program execs hope that each new study will push boundaries and explore new approaches. That is it for this week's industry update. Tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.